Hi everyone! Welcome back to another My Little Pony custom tutorial. Today we're going to make Songbird Serenade, a character voiced by Sia in the new My Little Pony movie. Songbird's character design was modeled after Sia's stage persona, so we'll be making her oversized wig, tail, and hair bow using clay. We're going to start off with this Fluttershy brushable pony as the base. You can also use any other pony with wings. Prep the pony by cutting off all the hair and removing the cutie mark and eyes with nail polish remover. Now we can make her shirt by attaching small strips of air dry clay on the body. Attach a long strip from one wing, under the belly, and over to the other wing. A short strip on the back between the wings. Another long strip around the neck. Cut off any excess and blend the ends together. And do the same for the two front legs. Then blend one side of each strips onto the body and make slits at the collar and cuffs. Let's move on to her mane. We're gonna cut out thin strips from a long rectangular sheet of clay. These will be for the first layer. Cut out long triangles to create the gaps in her mane. Then attach them to her head. And blend the seams at the top. This first layer doesn't need to be perfect since it'll be covered by the second layer. Now attach the second layer to your liking. And blend the top part until seamless. I'm going to add just one more strip on top. For the back, attach a rectangular strip and trim the end to a U or V shape. Then attach teardrop shaped pieces and blend them together to get the shape you want. I cut the mane into two pieces so that they'll be easier to bake. I made the cut here because the seam will be barely noticeable when I glue it on later. I forgot to make buttons for her shirt, so I'm just going to quickly flatten two balls of clay. Place it on the collar to make sure they're the right size. Then let them air dry overnight and glue them on. Here comes the fun part. I want her bow to be 3 inches long by 2 inches wide. So I'm going to cut out a 3 inch by 4 inch sheet of clay. And cut this in half to get two 3 inch by 2 inch sheets. Now we can start making one side of the bow by folding the sheet in half. And pressing only the top half together. Pinch these edges together to close the opening on this side. Now flip it over. Right now, the inside is filled with air, so I'm going to close this opening to trap the air inside. This will make the bow thicker and not look so flat. Now that we have this air pocket on this side, we can make pleat folds on the other side. You're on the right track if you're getting this zigzag at the edge. I'm going to pinch this end together so that it narrows towards the center of the bow. Alright, the left side is finished. Now we're going to use the same technique for the right side. It's okay if you don't make your bow perfectly at first. I made a lot of bows before I got mine to the size and shape I wanted. And don't worry about getting both sides exactly the same, it actually looks more natural when they're not. 
Now that we've made both sides, trim off a bit of the ends to straighten them. Blend them together so that it'll be easier to wrap the centerpiece around this area. For the centerpiece of the bow, I'm making a pleat fold at the middle of the sheet. This is the outside, and this side is the inside. I'm folding the end in to give it a softer edge. You can see the difference between this end and the other end. It's a bit too wide, so I'm going to trim off the excess. And now I'm going to fold this end in as well. Before folding in the rest, make sure it's wide enough for your bow. Alright, I think this part is perfect. Now just wrap it around the center, trimming off any excess. I'm wrapping it this way so that the seam will be hidden. This seam will be the bottom part of the bow that sits on top of the main. Applying too much pressure can force the air out and create a tear in your clay. So as you're making your bow, check if you still have this pocket of air. I recommend experimenting with different sizes to find out which one you like. This is the large 3 inch by 2 inch bow that I just made. I like this one because it's similar to the pillow size bow that Sia wears on stage. This is a medium 2 inch by 1 and a half inch. I think this is a perfect size for a songbird's head. And this is a small 2 inch by 1 inch. I like this medium and the large, so I'm gonna go with these two sizes. Some brushable ponies like this Starlight Glimmer come with a bow. So if you're planning on only doing a repaint and not customizing your pony using clay, this bow would be perfect for your songbird custom. And the last thing we need to make is her tail. Taper both ends of a log of clay by rolling them with your finger. One end should be round and the other pointy. Curl the round end to the left and the pointy end to the right, and shape it to get something like this. Then blend on a long triangular piece, and blend on a thick short piece here. Now I'm gonna cut out 5 strips of clay in different sizes and shapes to blend on the tail. I just love how these strips give Songbird's mane and tail that feather-like look of a bird. In case you didn't know, Songbird is actually a type of bird that contains over 5,000 species found all over the world. I was browsing through pictures of songbirds on the internet and came across this collared red start from Costa Rica and thought, this could be Songbird Serenade if she were an actual bird. It's just so beautiful and they have similar colors. Alright, that's the final strip. Now just do the same for the other side and it'll look something like this. That's it for the sculpting part. Let's start painting. I'm using ivory for her coat. For her shirt, I'm going to use a very dark grey color. I'm using light yellow for the buttons. 
and I've painted the inner part of her ears light pink. Songbird's cutie mark is a cloud chandelier. So first I painted a cloud using light blue and outlined it with a darker blue. Then I painted on these six hearts dangling below. Each of these hearts is a color of the rainbow. I used red, orange, yellow, blue, green, and purple. And now for her mane, I'm gonna paint the right half yellow and then the left half black. I'm using hot pink for this medium sized bow. For this large, I'm using pearl white. I really like this pearlescent finish. It makes this bow look like it's made of silk fabric. I made another large bow because I really wanted to use this shimmery black paint. It has a glossy finish and there are tiny gold specks in it. Let's get up close to get a better look. I love how the gold shimmers as it catches the light. Now let's see what they look like on Songbird. This one is definitely my favorite. What do you guys think? Which bow do you like most? Finally for her tail, I'm gonna paint the right half yellow and then the left half black. There you go, all finished. This is by far my favorite of all the pony customs I've made. I love her color scheme, the feather-like design of her mane and tail, her cutie mark, and just about everything else. I spent a lot of time making Songbird and I loved every moment of it. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and share it. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.